Okay, this particular video is about ultraviolet cleaning. Now, when I first found out about this, I thought it would be a great solution for me because as I'm getting older, um, some of my allergy problems are getting worse, including those which are related to pollen and house dust. So I thought if I could get rid of more dust mites, ultraviolet cleaning could be a good thing. I was very excited about it and I wanted to look into uh, the uses of UV and to see whether I could actually um, get some productive benefit out of it. Also, I have another interest as well, you know, on this one particular channel, and that is to move towards off-grid living. And so if there's environmentally friendly ways in which I can use the power from the sun um, through the power of rechargeable batteries to assist me in keeping the place clean and uh, dust mite and mold free, then obviously that would be a great benefit. So I had to try and find out from the internet what other people's opinion um, of ultraviolet cleaning was and whether it was actually going to be beneficial. Now, all I managed to do is get lots of people uh, saying all kinds of different things, some of whom did not seem to have actually read the instructions on the box of uh, one of these ultraviolet ones or indeed uh, done any experimentation to see which method uh, and which one is the best for doing things with. Now, let me just start from the top. Uh, do I personally have experiences which have demonstrated to me conclusively that the ultraviolet UVC radiation which comes out of these devices does actually kill the germs? Bottom line, yes. Um, there was a time when I wasn't taking buses, I was walking everywhere so my shoes were getting really grossy and sweaty and horrid. Uh, and I used this wand and placed it in my shoe for five minutes and then did another couple of minutes for the outside um, underneath the tongue and all around it. And after that period of time, the shoe was not smelly anymore. And it was, uh, you know, I could shove my nose straight into it and sniff it. And there was no, you know, unpleasant, terrible, sweaty smell at, at all. Uh, also, I had a problem with mold at one point, And I used this particular UV wand and directed the lights on the inside of the atomizers of my electronic cigarette which previously had a terrible, moldy, woody, rotten flavour. And after 20 seconds, all the nasty, uh, unpleasant flavour was gone. So I have experiential evidence that even the small, dirt, cheap ultraviolet ones do actually kill germs. These ones certainly kill germs. I've had experiences in the kitchen when I had um, just done some regular cleaning. And I then passed this particular wand over an area which, uh, in which I've been cooking some tomato sauces. And this was after I'd done regular cleaning and all of a sudden there was a smell, a cloud of aroma of uh, tomato sauce smell coming up. Now that was essentially the bacteria that was feasting on all of the little dribbles of tomato sauce that just ended up on the work surface being killed off. So that shows me that yes, um, these cheap ones do actually do something good, uh, but they do you know, take some time to operate. But I wanted to do some proper domestic cleaning. I did not necessarily just want to spend time, you know, nitpicking over tiny little areas. So essentially, I've upgraded to one of these things here. All right. Now, about what these particular styles of wands are actually good for. This one's supposed to be a travel wand. All right. This um, grey bit opens up. Let's see if I can do it one-handedly. There you go, and that's the UV light there. Um, but basically, you know, what is this good for? If you were traveling and you ended up in sharing a bathroom with someone who basically didn't look after their hygiene and you went into that bathroom, you could not, I repeat, not use this one to completely clean the bathroom, okay? This one works great with things like your toothbrush or your toothbrush head, very small personal items. Yes, you can sort of like get it open and scan it over. Um, you know your, your mobile phone or the phone on your desk but it only opens up that far so essentially if you wanted to clean a flat surface you couldn't because the only real place where the ultraviolet is strong is there it's not over the whole length of the bulb now I have demonstrated the use of this one particular one when purifying water and I think that that's a good way of doing it provided of course you're safe from the possibility of you know any, any mercury leakage from the bulb itself all right but it has its uses, but it also has its, its problems. This one, on the other hand, I'm of the opinion that the bulb on this one is just the same strength as the bulb on the small one, because essentially in a darkened room, the visible components of the light coming out of it is just as bright as the light coming out of the small one. Uh, the, this particular style of wand is rather generic. Different companies seem to have the same style of wand, 
but just with their logos printed on it. So I don't know whether they're just one massive company somewhere in China that makes these things, and then a promotional merchandise company comes along and then brands it, or whether there's like open source plans out there that different companies can take their ideas from. But this one is very generic. Uh, in reality, it's okay for maybe small table areas for your keyboard on your computer, for your mouse, little things like that. It's good for that sort of thing. But if you want to do a larger area like the whole of your bed prior to getting a good night's sleep, it, uh, you know, it, it struggles a bit because it takes a long time. And um, the light, you know, it's, it's got some visibility to it. But of course, the, the ultraviolet, uh, which kills off all the germs and all the dust mites and the rest of that, is supposed to be 25 times brighter or 30 times brighter than the actual visible light which comes out of the bottom of the bulb. So that's something you have to take into account when you're using it. It's very, you know, there was a, I think it was a Fox 8 um, news article about ultraviolet ones, and they said that you don't feel like you're cleaning. Well, that is, um, that is correct. You don't feel like you're cleaning when you're using it. Uh, the light will kill off bacteria, but if, the, if there's like a bit of dust on a surface and the light can't penetrate, it would make sense that there could still be bacteria underneath those bits of dust. So you have to do a lot of extensive dry dusting first prior to using your uh, ultraviolet one, or you could do wet dusting and then um, dry off the area afterwards, okay? And then you can actually use the one quite nicely. Now this one here, by comparison, gives off a hell of a lot more light. Uh, it's supposed to have a different style of bulb, but that's, that's 3 watt. This one's supposed to be 4 watt, but you would have thought, well that isn't that much of an increase. But the style and type of bulb is supposed to be different, so it can do more. So I'm just going to show you kind of like a um, bit of a feeling of the brightness of this one. Well, I'll do it on that object there. So you can see there's there's some blue light there, okay, or bluish light. Let's turn that one off. Turn this one on, and there's an awful lot more bluish light coming out the bottom. Now with this one, uh, I used it to clean a aluminium surface, I think it was, and there was actually some reflected light bouncing off the from the wand off the aluminium surface and onto the backs of my hands. And it felt like, you know, I was getting sunburned. So I th I'm of the opinion that this one here is, in practice, a lot more powerful than these two. Okay, so I have more confidence that this one is good for killing off dust mites and carpets and all the rest of that kind of jazz. Whereas this one, it's best to keep it on your desk, in my opinion. So you can just use it for your keyboard, your mouse and little things whilst you're on a phone call with somebody else. And this one here, that's more for your small personal items. Okay. Now, one thing I do like about ultraviolet as a cleaning or germ killing solution, because it's not really cleaning, it won't get rid of grease, it won't get rid of grime. Um, if there is bacterial buildup, you still need to remove the bacterial buildup using normal cleaning methods prior to using UV. Now, if that's just a wet sponge, then, you know, fine, as long as you're removing the physical stuff so you can then get straight through to the surface. But you can use rechargeable batteries. All right, this one actually comes with a stand which uh, recharges it. So if you've got yourself an inverter and you're running off 12, a bank of 12 volt batteries, then essentially you can charge it straight off the stand. Or you could take the eight AAA batteries out of here and recharge them separately on a solar charger. This one contains four AA's and uh, again, you can recharge them. This one contains four triple A's, and again, you can recharge them, okay? So that's good. One thing I've noticed about these two white ones here, all right, is that the brightness diminishes quite a lot as the batteries go down, all right? So you gotta have the batteries freshly charged all the time. So have one which rests on a stand, which recharges it, means that any single time you want to use it, it's already um, gonna be at maximum brightness, all right? so. That's why I think it's good. Another experience I've had which demonstrates that this technology works is I realized I was feeling rather itchy in bed, okay? And I came to the conclusion that that could well have been dust mite activity or similar allergens uh, affecting the skin. So I thought to myself, okay, we'll do an extensive um, UV sweep on the underside of the top bed sheet, the top of the bottom bed sheet, as well as um, all sides of the pillow, okay? And I did that, and I spent maybe about um, between between five and ten minutes doing it, which can be a bit tedious. So you sing a little song to yourself or play a bit of music whilst you're doing it, okay? Uh, and that night, um, I slept a lot better, okay? Because I had that extra one little niggly factor, which um, was stopping me from sleeping, taken away. 
namely the itchiness. So I've done that every single night. My, it's now part of my nightly r regime. So yeah, ultraviolet technology does actually kill off some things which are nasty. All right, that's, that's as far as I'm concerned, a, a hard and fast fact. Okay, whether it's in your electronic cigarette atomizers, on your toothbrush, if you're sharing a bathroom with someone who's unhygienic, uh, or whether, you know, or, or whatever. So, you know, the, the technology does kill things off. I don't believe it's a substitute for other forms of cleaning. But I also think it's something you can do between uh, more arduous cleaning shifts in order to reduce the need for you to, uh, you know, have to have your cleaning shifts quite as frequent. And also if you've got a problem with dust mites or similar things, then essentially it probably is a very useful technology for yourself. And yes, it can be done off grid. Okay, so you can purify water, you can kill dust mites, you can keep your desk relatively sanitary. This one's also good to have in your kitchen because you can just quickly wipe it over, you know, scan it over your knives and your forks. Uh, so that will make sure they're slightly less likely to be, you know, nasty. Uh, and after you've done a proper cleaning shift in the kitchen, it's a good idea to wipe your wand or scan your wand over the area. Now, one thing that's difficult is just trying to keep your, you know, the distance of the bulb over the surface just right. When you're using it, it seems like slow, steady passes work better as opposed to doing that. Because, you, you know, if you've been doing a lot of normal cleaning, you're kind of like in the I want to scrub this mentality rather than the I am irradiating this kind of mentality. And that's, I don't think that really helps if you're trying to use ultraviolet as a cleaning technology. I think what you've got to do is um, slower, more steady passes and make sure you try and cover the area as best you can. Um, it is lengthy, but I am of the opinion that ultraviolet can work as one of the many cleaning technologies that you can use. And on top of that, if you've got a cat who's spreading his cat dander everywhere, it's a good idea to try and find new ways of controlling that particular issue as well. All right. So that's, I mean, one of the reasons I wanted to do this particular video is because you come onto YouTube and you see... All these people who are selling crap. That's it. It's like, come and buy this, come and buy that, come and buy this, come and buy that. You don't actually listen, you know, hear from people who've actually been properly successful in using these bloody things. That's why I thought I'd do this video. All right. So you need to, I mean, if, if you wanted to clean your whole kitchen and bathroom, having one of these would not actually be, a, you know, it would take too long. I mean, the bulb size might be roughly the same as the one on this one in terms of length, but this is a different type and quality and caliber of bulb. That one is more shielded, physically shielded. As you can see, there's less of a gap for the light to get out of. This one is broader and has got more reflective material around it. So even if that was the same type of bulb as that, this one's still more efficient. Okay, and it's it's just so much brighter. It has to be a different quality of bulb. Okay, uh, and yeah, you, I mean, it's rather weird. It's rather difficult to describe. But when you got an area and you're scanning over it, you know, you got your light going. Okay, and you're scanning over the area. If it's a mucky area, after a while, it will somehow feel cleaner. The area you've done will actually feel cleaner. It's almost like we humans have got a an innate sense for when something is like contaminated. Uh, and sometimes you will feel it. You will, you will feel an actual difference in the area that you're cleaning using UV. Or UVC, I should say, right? So, yeah. Remember, that, you know, the longer you take over it, the more likelihood you are that you're killing off many things. And the more frequently you do it, the more likely you are of keeping the whole area comparatively clean and dust mite free and, 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 and like bacteria free. So yeah, I'm of the opinion that there is a benefit to using it. Now, if you are an allergy sufferer, you might also want to think about steam cleaners and vacuum cleaners that have a HEPA filter to it, H-E-P-A for high, um, high efficiency, something other part air particle or something like that okay H E P A, uh, which basically helps to remove 
all the micro small things such as dust mites, fetal matter and god alone knows what else and I understand they're quite effective um, but yeah I'm slowly increasing my collection of ultraviolet tools and I'll be getting more in the future but anyway that's information on how to use it oh yeah um, the type of surface you're cleaning will probably react differently uh, if you're doing flat surfaces like your, your countertop where you do your food preparation um, that would be a lot easier okay uh, obviously if you do give it a dust and remove any particles and debris first um, but if you're doing fabrics it might be worthwhile taking longer over it so the light can penetrate deeper just thought I'd quickly mention that anyway that's how to properly understand ultraviolet ones